Hello, people. I am Javi Kawai, joined by Miriam Masip, and we're looking at Verdas stand up comedy. Indians are racist ish. This is from Verdas's YouTube channel. I am uh, very much looking forward to this. So, you guys, if you haven't already, you should subscribe to Verdas's YouTube channel. He's currently at 176,000 subscribers, which is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. He should have way more subscribers than that. So, go on, head over to his channel, hit subscribe on his video uh, on his channel, and then come back here and watch this reaction, please. <laughs> people, we spend our lives claiming that we're victims of racism, don't we? But yet all Indians back home, pretty fucking racist, right? But it's this strange dichotomous failed racism mixed with like feudalism and servitude in a curry. <laughs> like if a beautiful American girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, comes down to Delhi and is walking down the road because she's insane. <laughs> that happens actually. Within two minutes, there will be two fat, balding, paunchy Indian men across the road looking at her like, Madam! <laughs> Hello, Madam! Think about the dichotomy of that racism. While they are creeping her the fuck out, they are still calling her Madam. <laughs> there is respect there. <laughs> <laughs> and look, like most Eastern cultures, our version of racism is what we adapted from what was taught to us. by the British. I'm sorry, it's true. This isn't the first Brexit to happen in history, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just the first intentional one, all right? Britain ruled America, they ruled Africa, they ruled the Orient. I feel like Britain must look at America the way Venus looks at Serena. Like, bitch, I trained you. <laughs> you learned this shit from me. Love. I'm going to tell you a story about racism, ladies and gentlemen, and I guarantee you at some point you're going to get uncomfortable, but hang in there with me, there's a good ending. <laughs> so I was surfing in the south of India, a couple of different nationalities, me, a couple of Brits, a couple of Aussies, black guy named Marcus. As Marcus is holding his surfboard, walking down to the beach, he's stopped by a Tamil villager who says, stop, 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 you, you black, blacky. It's terrible. Now hang on. This man then goes to his house, wakes up two sleeping children from their afternoon nap as they rub their eyes and says, See, 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 he black, blacky. Now I submit to you that that is not racism on two counts, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, there is no malice in that man's heart. There is fascination, there is curiosity. And number two, this happened in Tamil Nadu. Tamils. Where the villager and his whole fucking family are ten times darker than the black guy. <laughs> and then the kids surround Marcus and, and they're playing with him and he's playing back and, and they're looking at his hand and looking at their own hand. And they touch his hair and they touch their own hair. It is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It is the most honest, simple, non-judgmental, naive way of acknowledging our differences. Acknowledging them because we are different, aren't we ladies and gentlemen? My hair is different, my skin is different, my color is different, my values are different. And it's okay to talk about that. If we just talk about the fact that we are different and acknowledge why we are different, instead of pretending that nobody is different and still secretly thinking we are different, we might finally all be on the same page and be less different. If you took that man out of Tamil Nadu and dropped him right here in the middle of New York City, he'd walk around in Harlem just going, you black, black, you black, black, you black, black, blackity, blackity, black, black. And when he got out of the hospital, <laughs> he black, it's okay. He wouldn't understand what he has done wrong because to him, political correctness is not a concept that he understands. Right? If there's stupid shit in your head, say it once, learn, educate yourself, find out why it's wrong, never say it again. Do you agree with me, yes or no? Yes. Good, so let's start tonight. So, white people, I submit to you this. All Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Nepalis, and Sri Lankans, we all look the fucking same. <laughs> Please, confuse us all you like. We are essentially the same people, it's okay. The only difference between me and a Pakistani person is increased musical quality and decreased life expectancy. That's it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> 
I actually think I saw that with his uh, one hour special and I did a review on his one hour special But it's been so long since I watched it this comedy was basically new to me and for you it was completely brand new For me it's new. Yeah. yeah, how did you feel about what he said? <laughs> well, it's actually like true sometimes you got some people that just just say some things like I had a friend that um, I don't know, was he a Puerto Rican or something and then he was just like hey um Oh, was it mamacita or something like that? Then, you said that? Yes, and then in the other to you? like yeah, to me, Mamacita, and that's how he talks. And everyone was like, You do not say and he got in trouble and he's just like, What? Because that's how they talk about there. So he's just complimenting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you take offense? I know if you know that they're not being mean or rude or anything, a Mexican by the way, you just know. When someone is like not intentionally doing something to you or Yeah, or, it's tricky. In LA it's tricky. Like you have to be careful. I mean <laughs> like the first time I saw Miriam Masip, it's almost like, who? <laughs> you know, shit. it's like it's that kind of embarrassing where I have a bad <laughs> habit of craning my neck. Ashara calls me out on it all the time. She didn't see me do that because I was discreet about it. Discreet. <laughs> you, you didn't catch it, right? No. This video is sponsored by Sunday. Sunday is India's first sleep tech startup, and they sell straight to you, no middleman. They cut that right out, which saves you, the consumer, 30%. That's a lot of money that they're saving you there by not having some middle person between you and that mattress that you so dearly want and need. Also, they give you 100 nights risk-free to try out the mattress, and if you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. That's where the risk-free thing is, is that you don't have to you know, be stuck with it if you don't like it. They'll let you try it out, 100 nights, sleep on it, Feel it out. You don't like it? Return it for a full refund, no questions asked. Click on the Sunday link in the description below because it's a special deal for the Koi family. All of you guys. Oh. Generally speaking, I am not discreet though. Look that way and after five seconds, look at me. And, that, and that's often what happens to me. That's real life. You know, it's like the girl will be like, what the? F Who's that leery and creepo? Something. Yeah. I don't intend to come out and be like, oh my God, you know. <laughs> Unless I'm really drunk, then I'll walk straight up to you and be like, you are beautiful. Uh. Just had to say that. I know there's no chance, but I gotta get that out. Peace! And I'll... <laughs> That's totally something I would do. But see, like that has a lot to do with like culture, how you talk to people and how like not just to me, but I noticed that he would also say that to people that were, you know, just different, different color or whatever. He would be just like, oh, uh, you're this or you're that. Sometimes it's just like in your in your culture to say those type of things. Well, in India, there's a different, I mean, depending on where you're at, there is a different sense of personal space. This is the only example I can think of. And I've mentioned this before on the channel in a different context, but I was at um, the gate of India. What happened? was these guys came up to me in a char and were like, oh, can we take a photo with you? Can we take, can we take a photo? And they said it in their own broken English way, right? I was like, sure. Do you guys know who we are? They're like, no. I'm like, okay, cool. So they just wanted to take photos with us because we're not Indian. Yeah. So they took photos with us, right? Like this is the camera. And then I go, okay, cool. And they're like, hold on, hold on. You can go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So like, I, like, what? I just missed you. <laughs> yeah. You're dismissed. Yeah, like, I don't know you. You're not paying me. I'm doing you a favor by taking a photo with you. Like, you don't, what? like, we're not friends. And you're holding me there. And you're like, okay, you can leave. I got the photo I need. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Just recently, yesterday, I allowed someone, because I'm usually pretty shy, shy and on set, I'm always like hiding and my friends are like, yes, yes, take pictures with me. And I'm just like the time that I'm like, I'm a little, a little shy when I'm outside, so I hid. And yesterday was the first time that I was like, all right, I'll let you take a picture with me. <laughs> Wait, what was this? It wasn't even on set, which is funny. It was on set on Monica, I was doing my workout. And it was oh. actually, yes, yeah, yes. It's just this guy that looked completely like a tourist. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and I was doing my workout, and he's just like, can I? I'm like, okay, I'm a girl working out here, so I don't want to go, okay, fine, I get it. And he just wanted a photo with you. Yeah, he just wanted to, it was so, and he was so nice. So I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> I wouldn't have said yes. That's just weird. Oh, well, yeah, but he was nice. You know, on set, people are a little bit more, like, demanding. So that's when I'm just like, mm, just go hide. Oh, it's a little different. Yeah. On set is a little different. Like, you have a friendship. You're like, oh, I want to remember this. Then I want to put it on my Instagram stories, you know. Yeah. I'm so popular. I'm, I'm doing so many things. <laughs> See? You take a photo and put it on. Yeah. 
you know? One of the things he's saying that I appreciate is the fact that we are different and there's nothing wrong with that. And appreciating those differences, the similarities and differences I think yeah. is important and I don't think we do it enough. I've heard it from too many Caucasian people. I don't see color. I don't see race. And I'm like, yes you do. Mm -hmm. I would be stupid not to. Like, of course you do. And there's nothing wrong with you seeing it. It's how you treat it that makes all the difference. If you treat me differently because of my race, then that's a problem. But just acknowledging it is not a problem. Yeah, what I've read, we just go to automatic thoughts. Like, oh, this means that. If you're not familiar with something, then you tend to also like uh, not trust it enough. So if you go into automatic with the little information that you have about a certain race, and then you're not familiar with it, then that's what causes like the problems and the differences. Yeah, just realize, yeah, we're different, but get more familiar with it. I guess that's what would make the difference into a better world. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Mm. <laughs> I'm just running with it. Mir 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 Miriam's on her own, like, she's got her own video game going on. <laughs> yes. She's playing, I'm like watching. Usually. She's my own personal Twitch channel. She's <laughs> like, all right, let's see what happens Usually. now. But you know, yeah, we're not colorblind. You know, Miriam is like a Mario Maker, you know, in <laughs> real life. Maker. Like creating these weird, crazy levels for her to jump through. <laughs> yes. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, be sure <laughs> to check out Miriam Masip on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Miriam Masip. Peace out.